Hey, what's up? It's Blake, and I want to answer a commonly asked question I see a lot on YouTube, and that's, can you make unlimited passive income with your automated dropshipping business? Uh, and the answer is probably not, and we're going to talk about why. So first off, I want to explain what dropshipping is and how it differs from other hands-free ways of making money. Dropshipping is when you are essentially like a freelance salesman, except you buy the products. Let's go through an instance where drop shipping might occur. I'll be the customer. I go on eBay. I go to Mike's Auto Parts. I buy an auto part. Mike gets my money. Mike gets my information. With my money and my information, he then puts an order in with the manufacturer or the distributor, and they send me the product. This can be allowable or it can be unallowable. So first of all, we'll say how it's allowable. It's allowable on these platforms being Amazon and eBay if there is no evidence of a manufacturer or a dropshipper or a separate platform on the packaging, invoice, whatever it is. It has to appear as if the store I bought it from is the store who owned it, had possession the entire time. It's the same on Amazon. You can't just list something, ship from walmart.com and take your money. That's against the rules and you will get kicked off and suspended. Potentially, you could do this on your own Shopify store, but certain countries and states have laws against this, so make sure you do your own research to make sure you're not breaking the law. So how does this differ from Amazon FBA, where it's equally as hands-free, but not drop shipping? So on Amazon FBA, or if you're using a third-party logistics firm like ShipBob or Shipmunk, you own the products and you have simply sent them to be stored somewhere else. In the case of Amazon FBA, they do the customer service, there's a lot more than just shipping it out, but you still maintain ownership over the products. So if you're new, Amazon FBA is not the same as drop shipping. Print on demand t-shirts is not the same as drop shipping. In that case, you own the intellectual property. So there's three main issues with drop shipping that I do not like. First of all, inventory. You don't know if they're sold out, your listing might be active while they're sold out and that's gonna give you bad marks in your account might you suspended, certainly will have angry customers. The second thing is returns. The returns go to you, not the manufacturer. So if you're trying to be totally hands-free, you have to facilitate these returns going somewhere. I'm not sure where, but somewhere. The third thing is you're not the one shipping it out. So let's say they have someone new in the warehouse who grabs the wrong item and ships out 10 of those, right? You're out all of that money. Not a mistake you'd make personally, but because you're outsourcing this, there's a lot more liabilities involved. If you're okay with these things, by all means, drop ship. I am not, I don't do it, I don't recommend it. I think there are far superior alternatives. So let's talk about those. Alternative number one, holding your products. Buying and selling and holding yourself. Way easier, way less to deal with. Yes, you can't do it remotely, but if you're just learning, why not do it this way? Number two, Amazon FBA. You can just ship your things to Amazon FBA and they do all the work. A lot of people are kind of concerned with the, with the process. It's kind of scary at first, but don't worry. I have videos on that. Check out my website, check out my YouTube account. You will learn so much about how Amazon FBA works. Third thing, wholesale with a 3PL, a third party logistics company like ShipBob or ShipMonk. So you either have the stuff sent directly to them from your manufacturer or you do some quality checks first, then have it sent to them, and they warehouse it, they store it, they use your information, so again, you're not breaking the rules of Amazon or eBay. This is kind of expensive, a heck of a lot more expensive than going to Alibaba and just trying to do some arbitrage, but you're within the rules, and in my opinion, it's a heck of a lot more safe. I'm sorry if you were looking for a get-rich-quick scheme, it's not there. I know you've seen tons of videos about making $10,000 a month doing automated drop shipping. Uh, but those are just, you know, it's just clickbait. It's not real. It isn't that sustainable. You can make a lot of money selling courses, how to do that. You can make a lot of money selling automated drop shipping stores. But in regards to actually owning one and trying to do it, your odds of making cash are not very high. If you want to learn more about ways to make money online, please subscribe to my channel and join the Facebook group below. Give the video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. And as always, don't be a sh**.